Hello, fellow adventurers. The last time that we were with you, we told you about how we sold our Montana High Country fifth wheel and grew our family with our new dog, Ginger, and told you that we would be shopping for a new camper probably for a year or so. Well, guess what? It took about a month. <laughs> we found a new camper that we think is going to be a great rig for us. And we have transitioned from our fifth wheel to a Grand Design 2670 MK travel trailer. And there are certainly pros and cons of a fifth wheel versus a travel trailer. And we'll get into that in more detail in a future episode when we do a full walkthrough of this rig. But in the meantime, there were some essentials that we had to have to hit the road as we transitioned into our new travel trailer. So come along as we show you some of these new pieces of gear. The first new piece of RV equipment that we knew we were going to need for our new camper was a new mattress. Unfortunately, in our fifth wheel, we had a king size bed and in our new rig, we have a queen size bed. So new mattress is gonna be a have to. The ones that come with the campers are terrible. And in our old camper, we had the most incredible mattress. We had a Brooklyn bedding Aurora Lux mattress and it was huge and thick and soft and I loved it. <laughs> and so I knew we were gonna have to get something great for this camper as well, but on this camper, not only do we have to have a queen size bed, so can't use our old lovely one that we had, but we also need something that is lighter because we don't have as much weight that we can put in this trailer. And we've tried a few different brands of mattresses and we knew that we wanted to stick with Brooklyn bedding. For sure. And so for this rig, we opted for a 10 inch queen sized 60 inch by 80 inch Dream Foam Essentials mattress. And if you're on a budget and still want a high quality, reliable mattress, this really is a great option for you. There are nearly 3,500 reviews of this particular mattress, and with a 4.8 average rating, we knew we could not go wrong with it. And it comes in 22 different size configurations and five different thickness options, so you can definitely find something to fit your rig. All right, well, it'll take a little bit of time for this to get all the way set to lay on, but I can already tell what a major improvement. I cannot wait to sleep on this mattress. This mattress is all foam with a special two and a half inch gel swirl memory foam upper section for contouring comfort and added cooling and a seven and a half inch high density foundation. The 10 inch thickness was definitely the right choice for us for our mattress in our new camper. It does not block our little built in cubbies, but it's still gonna provide lots of thick, soft cushiness so we get a great night's sleep. And the mattresses are made in Arizona, right here in the United States. It has free shipping, a 10 year warranty, and it comes with a 120 night trial. We know that we made the right choice with this mattress and we think that you would love it too. And best yet, Brooklyn Bedding is giving all of the Today is an Adventure Day listeners a 25% discount. All you need to do is to go to rvmattress.com slash adventure day to take advantage of the great discount. So whether you're looking for a mattress for home or your RV, check out the full line of options available on the website. One of the more, oh, I'll say silly purchases maybe we made, but it's not really silly, is that we got a new set of leveling blocks. We call them Legos, lots of people do as well. Uh, we used to have those obnoxious yellow ones and we decided we wanted something a little more subtle. So we got this set of Camco black colored ones. They're also larger, which is nice now that we have to use those scissor stabilizing jacks instead of what we used to have on a fifth wheel. Speaking of leveling, another product that we really love are these Beach Lane leveling wedges. And especially when used in conjunction with the LevelMate Pro, you get to your site, you put these in place, and then you just roll forward onto these wedges until the LevelMate Pro shows that you are level side to side. And once you have that part complete, then you're able to level front to back by using your tongue jack. And these have been super easy to use. We like that they're black so that just like the Legos, they just blend right into your campsite. 
I mentioned leveling front to back at your trailer jack. And so we got a trailer jack stand by a company called Bulky. It's also black, blends right in, nice and solid and lightweight, great product to use. Another big change from a fifth wheel is the need for a stabilizing hitch. And we went with the Equalizer brand. We went with the model that can take 14,000 pounds of towing capacity. This trailer has a GVWR of just under 8,500 pounds. So we're well within spec. We have plenty of truck and we have plenty of hitch to take care of the job. One thing that we added to it uh, to make it a little easier to maneuver is I actually added this handle. I just inserted a thread rod through one of these holes. I got a couple of bike handles, a couple of uh, lock washers and nuts. And now whenever I am needing to take this out of the truck, I can just grab these handles and slide it out and use that to maneuver the heavy hitch. On our fifth wheel, we had installed a keypad lock and knew that we would want to do that on our new camper as well. When we went out for our first shakedown camping trip, we hadn't installed the new digital lock yet. And of course, we locked ourselves out. There was another camper at our campsite that hadn't imagined, so we were hoping that maybe his key would work on our camper because that's a lot of the reason why you change out your traditional lock for these keypad locks. And of course, it didn't work, but he did help Eric crawl through the window to get us unlocked. So now we have installed our new lock system. We went with a brand called Latchet and we have liked it a lot. And so we put that on the door and we also did Latchet compartment locks as well. We love all of the storage in our camper, but we quickly found that several of our cabinets were pretty dark, so we knew we needed to find a quick, easy, inexpensive solution to that problem. Okay, we have these little stick-up lights that we got. This is what they look like. They have a little magnetic backing. So the magnetic backing can stick somewhere, and then the magnetic backing clicks into the light um, and makes it super easy to install. And so I just pop up this tab. I put in four batteries. These are triple A's by the way. And that's working. It has a little motion sensor here. So it has to be dark and sense motion in order for them to turn on. So I'm just going to peel off this bottom and now let's stick it in place. Okay. It is in place. And so now whenever we open the cabinets, this is on and they're on a short timer. So after some inactivity, it will automatically turn off. But now we have a lit cabinet so easy. And then to change batteries, we just pull it right off that magnetic strip, change the batteries and stick it right back onto the magnet. So pretty easy. We love the lights. Okay, we're going to install some cabinet locks. And whenever we got this rig, one of the things we were concerned about is when these slides are coming in and out, if these drawers or cabinet doors have popped open in transit then when the slides are coming in and out it can actually rip the drawer right off and so we want to make sure those drawers and cabinet doors stay closed so we're going to install some cabinet locks watch how easy this product is to install okay we have three pieces to deal with we have a little tab that will go on the inside of the cabinet we have a little installation template and we have the actual latch that goes on the drawer Everything is done with little 3M sticky stuff, and so it makes it so fast to install. So the first thing I'm gonna do is take this uh, installation template. I'm gonna slide the little tab on. I'm gonna peel my little sticker off. And now I'm gonna stick this just inside the cabinet. And I'm doing it over here on the edge. And that way it won't interfere with the stuff that we keep in the drawer quite so much. So I have this kind of stuck in place and this installation template is on there. And now I'm going to use my latch. Uh, my latch is gonna stick on the drawer. And the first thing I have to do is to put it in the locked or depressed position. And then I'm going to peel off the little sticky stuff. I'm gonna slide it temporarily into this installation template so that it's right where it needs to go. And now all that I'm gonna do is close my my drawer here and it will stick in place and now when I open this the little latch is right where it needs to be I'm just going to kind of squeeze it down and make sure that it's nice and stuck and now that that's nice and stuck this installation template will slide off of that tab and that's it 
So right now it's still in the downward or locked or, you know, adult position so that I can open and close this drawer without it catching. And now whenever I want to activate the latch, I just unclick that little thing and it pops up. And so now this is sort of spring loaded and it will catch on the latch. So when I close it, hear that little click. And now whenever I open it, it is caught in place, a single touch with my finger and it's open. So it's so easy. I mean, how long did that take? Seriously. So we have them on both of these cabinets and now we have some more to do. So let's get to work. One of my favorite things of new RV gear is this magnetic cap for the four inch steel bumper. So check this out. This clips on here and then this slides right into the bumper and then check out the satisfying click. Is that not awesome or what? Brings a little joy to the time at the dump station. Once we are unhooked, it's important to make sure that our travel trailer is safe. The last thing we would want is for somebody to come in here, hook up and drag this thing away. So safety is key. We, at one point, decided on getting one of those yellow metal things with the little U-shaped bar, but we saw some videos that show how easy those are to pry off. They really don't do much in the way of security. So we invested in something called a proven lock and that goes over the whole nose of the trailer. This cannot be defeated, and we know, therefore, that our trailer is gonna be safe. And so we put it on. There we go, no crowbar can defeat this system. And then for added security, and we use this whenever we're on the road traveling as well, this is just a pin lock, which makes sure that this is gonna stay in place. And then this will lock down. And there we go, double locked there. This company also makes a hitch pin lock that we use, and that way it can secure our hitch to our truck whenever we're traveling to make sure that our equalizer hitch stays safe and secure. And I just leave it on our hitch even when not in use. These products have been great and really give us a sense of security. Well, we hope you've enjoyed this look at several of the accessories and upgrades we've already done to this grand design 2670 MK travel trailer. It's always fun to find the right combination of products that works for your camper, and we hope that this video gave you some ideas that might be helpful for you as well. Make sure you check back with us soon because, of course, we're gonna give you a full detailed tour of our new Imagine, whose name is Ringo. <laughs> <laughs> You'll hear more about that in our video. And as always, get out and explore because today is an adventure day.